was good. So just doing a bunch of FaceTimes for all the people that engage with the Instagram. I appreciate all y'all. I try to make, make sure to take time to just get some FaceTime. You know what I mean? Get get past the likes. Gotta get, 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 and just the photos on Instagram, but like really connect. That's really important to me. And I appreciate all y'all that just like are on the journey, that engage with me. And uh, I look forward to connecting with all y'all. Got a document, bro. What's good guys? 7.30, on the way to Founders. We have our Q2 follow-up meeting from last week. It's all about our plan, how we all can level up as a team to make this the best possible platform and community for all of you. Ooh, I think we're all a little nervous, but excited because it's been a long time coming. It's been a year and a half of working on this, so we're all really excited. But let's get to Founders. I couldn't drive and vlog, but this is when I get off the exit. This is where I drive to in Newark. As you can see, you know, typical neighborhood out here in Newark. There's like a lot of different wards. We happen to be in Central Ward, where there needed to be a lot of rebuilding in the community. This is a school here, and this is Founders that we built. What up? Good morning, everyone. What's up? What's up? I know you and Joe are working on like a different con uh, comment. We've chat chatted a little bit. Are we with Darren Shoe and Craig? We just found workshops and different Let's bring it in, let's bring it in, let's bring it in. Ooh, feel it be here we go, baby. Let's go. This is our time. On the count of three, say we can, we will. One, two, three. We, we can, can, we will. Look who decided to pay me a visit. My nephew, Kaden. Kaden, show him your shot. Show him the shot. My homie Rob came through. He's a day one right here. Day one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Tell the camera. Say shoo, shoo, paddle. Yeah. Oh, and another one. <laughs> I'm proud of you. One day, you're going to grow up. It's like your dad. You're going to be great. But you got to keep doing good in school. You know that, right? You know that, right? You got to get educated. Right? Keep practicing. You gotta be good. Respect your dad. Respect your grandparents. Right? Be smart. Right? And dream big. Right? You gonna dream big? Alright. Be good. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> if you guys didn't see, this is the second building here in Founders District. Live, work, play. Building out this whole district. Built this from scratch. So also investing into the community, investing into building affordable housing. Excited to see this continue. All right guys, so just left quarterly meeting. Can't believe Rob and Kaden gave me a surprise visit over at Founders. Super grateful for moments like that, man. Just grateful for friends that take the time out of the day. I got to see his son. I remember being that age, man. The kid's got his whole life ahead of him. So excited to see him grow up. He's like a mini Rob. Rob has always been there for me, a good friend of mine. Growing up, when I first moved out of my parents' house, he was always the first I put a smile on my face. He's been there for me throughout like different relationships, different business ventures. Just a really, real good friend. So now I am back getting ready to go into the studio and shoot social currency. I've been shooting for literally months all the best content, all the best strategy, lessons that I've learned in building my social currency, both in person and on social media online. So I'm looking forward to all y'all becoming a founder, being a part of the platform, and then having access to the masterclass social currency amongst all the other courses and, and the ability to connect and uh, be a part of this whole community. It's gonna be fucking badass. I'm excited. Oh!
G squad, even GG, she's part of G squad, GG, G squad. Are you guys ready to fucking kill it? Fuck! No, We're literally going hard in the paint right now. Social currency. I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna look up at you. Okay. Tomorrow. What's good, G Squad? So check it out. My homie Andrew, all the way from Cali, came to visit us. So I'm excited, bro. What's good, What's up, Andrew? Group? Yo, yo. We're gonna go take a little New York trip. We were supposed to skydive today. <laughs> Damn! Weather does Damn. not permit. Apparently, it's supposed to thunderstorm, so they're like, you know, we can't risk it. I would have still done it. Would you have done it? Me too. <laughs> we would have done it. We would have taken a chance. Risk. Check it out guys, I'm with my boy Ian here. So what up Ian? What's up, what's up, what's up? So Ian runs uh, the one hotel here in Brooklyn. He's one of my good friends for a while. So I'm vetting out this location to do like a Leaders Create Leaders pop-up party for all y'all where we can all get together, just vibe. Invite a bunch of the guests that we've had on the show, come out here, kick it with us. And then for all of us to just get together, vibe. Talk about all the projects we're working on, network. So I'm thinking since it's Sunday, I think from now on, every Sunday, I'm gonna go live on Instagram just to kind of connect with y'all even a little bit more, get a little more vulnerable, answer any questions you have, and just basically really connect with y'all. Tell you my stories, just open up, I'm an open book. I feel like through pictures on Instagram, it's really hard for me to really connect with you one-on-one -on -one and get give you guys what's going on in my life, past stories that I've had and just open up and be vulnerable. So I'm just excited about doing that. So 9 p.m. today, Sunday. And then if you guys missed this, then maybe next Sunday you guys will check it out. Andrew, what you think about the uh, one hotel in Brooklyn, bro? Baller. So fun. Awesome food. Great company. Yeah. Hey. All right, guys. G Squad! Much. Buh, 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 buh. Anyways, we're about to go right now and do a cool <laughs> podcast interview. My man, Michael Lewis, he just wrote a new book called When to Jump that's about to drop. So we're about to hit, go on his podcast, should be lit. Cheryl Shanberg wrote his forward for the book. And then we're gonna shoot a little episode for the YouTube channel, Michael Lewis's story, which is pretty dope. And uh, then we're gonna keep it moving, make moves, you know what I'm saying, that's what we do. Here's the legend, back from your trips, what's up dude? Yeah, I just built I like a, sir, a skateboard in the last few days too. Did you really? And I don't even skate, it's for my nephew. Dude, dope, dope, dope. Ten weeks old. <laughs> we actually, all right guys, getting ready to do this podcast. Make sure it's coming soon. Make sure you get that book. When does the book drop, Mike? Uh, January 9th. January 9th, when to jump. When to jump. Look who we bump into. Yes. Man, we always be bumping in right now. Always. <laughs> Crazy, man. And that's up in here. Blocks, Eric's up in here, too. Yo, your video, the New Zealand trip. Where was New Zealand? Norway. Norway, sorry, Norway. Norway. That man. was sick. Dude. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Really sick. Good to see you guys. Beautiful day here in New York. It's always good when you bump into your boys, chilling. Still with the G Squad though, too. What up? What up? What's going down? I found us. G Squad. Taking my dick in my pants. What up? It's your boy, G. So check it out, guys. I'm opening up packages, and I am super thankful that you all send me stuff. Send it. If you want to send me a package, let's put the address to Founders, 48 Norfolk, North Hollow. Anyways. Shout out to my boy Nash who started this company called Strive LA. I really fuck with their mission and their brand is dope, super high fashion. I'm wearing an Impact Theory shirt. Shout out to Tom Billy. If you guys haven't seen me on his show, Impact Theory, it was fucking badass. I talked about shit that I did that I shouldn't have done when I was young. But anyways, alright, Gerard, my boy Alex, I opened it up. What the fuck? Bro, who sent me a fucking shoe? What the? Yo, that's nasty. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What the fuck? What the fuck? It says, uh, Dear Gerard Adams, 
I want to have the privilege to introducing myself to you and potentially having the opportunity to work with you and your great company. The reason why I have a shoe in the box is to represent that I have gotten one foot in the door. Please meet with me so I can get the second foot in the door as well. Hope you appreciate my sense of humor and creativity. This is fucking epic! I actually like it. You gotta be creative when you wanna get the attention of a mentor or someone out there. So, shout out to you, Alexander. So, I just opened up a new package, guys. Let's see what we got here. What is this? Energy drink. And it's strike force and energy drink. Dude, fuck dude, this is crazy. I've been wanting to create an energy drink so bad. I'm interested in trying it out. I don't like the packaging at all, but it's actually like you add it to water. I'll try it out. <laughs> 